we're here for an outside and because my girl will transfer her sunflower plant and my hubby is helping her and my youngest is sweeping but that's yeah. soap, so that would be nice and cool. Mm -hmm. Underneath the dirt. Y'all want to get all this stuff into the garage. Yeah, that's why I'm bringing the tractor out. And we'll put the tractor on that side. Look at these men. Look at this. Very good. How the story started? Wait. On the first floor, or at the very beginning? Very beginning. They hung him high. Hung him high? Yeah. Okay, where did he, where did, did he hang up? On the cross. Ah, on the cross. Who's that? Jesus. Ah, Jesus. So, did you, is there a song you create for that? No, I sing that at church. It's a real song. Oh, it's a real song. Can yeah. you sing it? They hung him high. They stretched him wide, he hung his head, and then he died. That's love, that's love. They hung him high, they stretched him wide, he hung his head, and then he died. That's love, that's love. But that's not how the story ends. On the third day, Jesus rose again. That's love. not how the story ends on the third day jesus rose again that's love that's love that's love oh that's the end yeah do you know the title of it no i see very good thank you so much that's love when jesus hung up on the cross to save the world Save the world from, from what? Uh, huh? Suffer? From sin. Oh. Yes, okay. Thank you, baby, for singing. Okay. We're to the next question. I'm here, friend. I just ate and praise the Lord. I had a chance to sit up with my girls here. And I tried to unbraid the hair. Look at this one over. My sister in Christ in the church prayed this a couple days ago and I told them to wash today. So I unbraided. I'm done with my youngest. I'm sitting up because I just ate and praise the Lord. There's no pain right now. I'm so thankful. God gave me strength. The pain is over he here in the solar place, but I don't have pain right what now, am I thinking? so I try to sit up, that is, since uh, I just that eat also, possible question I'm, still, the I'm still doing the mother job, because nobody, no one will do this, yes, yes thank for that my hub is learning now how to fix their hair. So no need to wake me up in the morning. Finally, I'm done, friend. I apologize, friend of my eyes. I will clean up later. I'll clean up. Need to soak. Anyway, I will go to the tub later. It will be washed out on. I'm so thankful. I'm still sitting up. I had a new flower, sir, friend, from our neighbor <laughs> for the Independence Day, 4th of July. And they give also fireworks to my girls to enjoy the, uh, this coming <laughs> Independence Day.
I had also friend here. A fellowship cup. Look, fellowship. It's 100 pieces. My sister in blood of this too. Thank you, sis. I love you. But I use it now today for my first time. But this may, I'm doing communion for third day for third for three days already so uh, and that's good that on the third day I'm using them the after fellowship cup because this fellowship cup arrived yesterday so I said thank you Lord I will I will not elaborate uh, or discuss about the value or the informations or the details about the communion because I know mostly of you know already about it. I just I'm just sharing <coughs> what I'm doing as part of my healing in this cancer journey. In the name of Jesus. So that's number one I first thing in the morning even though it's 4 a.m. 5 a.m. I pray then I I did make a move so it's five it's five around five forty I did make a move after a short prayer and talking to God and I ate a little bit so my stomach can be built up and praise the Lord. I had a chance to sit down, stop. Praise God, friend, I made it. Made it. And for three days, I noticed. I can sit up now a little bit, longer than five minutes. Let's say 10, something like that. That's what I said, praise God. Praise God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that revealed to me some changes every day, manifest some encouragement, wisdom every day while walking in the Word of God. And even though it's only it's not an hour to sit down or sit up. Still, it's a good news, you know. Good news. <coughs> good news. In my cancer journey, I don't. I'm not focusing on what is going on in my body. I'm just focusing, praising, glorifying, and honoring God every day for giving me strength and energy my both of my arms are strong and my legs so I had a chance an opportunity to walk at least two around two rounds from here going to our living room and to my to our kitchen but I cannot stand up for a long time. But God bless me that is trying. So I'm taking I'm taking it as a big blessing that He has given to me. Every waking up also every day. His mercy is new every morning exceedingly and more abundantly. I just uh, want to share to all of you, friend, my number three petition, the healing scriptures that led me to walk and lean more, believe more, and trust God, in the name of Jesus, 
feel the Holy Spirit activate in my life every day. Let the Holy Spirit empower me when Jesus Christ died and rose up again. The power of His resurrection dwells upon in my heart and my body from head to toe. Allow me, friend, to share to all of you my third, number three healing scriptures today. The number three, my number three petition from my healing scriptures. It says in Exodus 15, verse 36 says, For I am the Lord your God, your healer. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord that helped me. I'm using the Old Testament verse. So it says, friend, more elaboration of that verse. That encouraged me to be strong, to follow, to obey His command. To listen to the Holy Spirit every day and lean not to my own understanding and lean not to own my own plans but to the plan of the Lord to me every minute every second of my life in this earth it says he said if you will diligently listen to the voice of the Lord your God and do that which is right in his eyes and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes i will put none of the diseases on you that i put on the egyptians so every day of my walk every day of my moves every day of the, the decisions we're doing me, not only me, but with my hubby, with my husband. Not only we try, but we're doing what God says, what God commands to us. In some parts of our daily life, In some parts of our move, especially in our finances, <coughs> so that's friends I can share to all of you the number three petition of my healing scriptures. Every time I was depressed, but not anymore. You can count now to my fingers this time. Since I lean 100% of my life to Jesus, to God, I just remember Exodus 15, 26. I am the Lord that held thee. Just keep it repeating it 100 times every day. 100 times. Then later on, I'm back to normal. The enemy, the devil, take off. Take off in my mind. That's only the things I'm doing every day. So, that's all I can say right now, friends. To share to all of you the <coughs> cancer journey being a stage four in terminal cancer. I rebuke, I decree, declare, and command that this cancer disease don't have authority in my body. And the power of the Holy Spirit of Jesus when He died on the, on the cross and He rose up again. The power of His resurrection in power and dwells in my heart. That's all, friends, but before I will end, 
thank you to all of you my prayer team prayer groups wherever you are hope all of you doing well doing good in the name of Jesus subscriber viewers and supporters of my channel thank you thank you from the bottom of our heart and most especially this time I want to give thanks to the donors of my GoFundMe page thank you uh, Miss Jennifer Danielle Wanda thank you thank you for the supports and thank you also for the love prayers uh, good comments positive vibes <clears throat> if I did not respond right away in the comments that you had read please apologize me but if I had more energy I tried to open it but I know God know already <clears throat> what's, what's written there so thank you once again God bless everyone I will continue this because God commissioned me to do <clears throat> to do this to share to all of you that God still exists He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That He is the master of the disease. That He is a miracle worker of our life in times of our distractions or troubles. That He is still the healer. That one touch in my eyes, my vision, He will own. And my eyes will be open. I love you all again. To those also are suffering from pain hurt, broken hearted and wounds keep going keep going don't lose hope because God says those who hope in me will, will be disappointed I know how it feels just keep going and trust God don't look upon what you feel <coughs> but we are just human we cannot avoid what I what to feel we can just ignore it but the God make always a way <coughs> to be out of the pain that's all God bless and see all of you in my next video bye bye